The first thing I recommend to anyone who wants to learn or improve as an SCEP functional consultant is to set a clear objective process to execute an SCEP s For me, for example, the first objective is always to execute a full procure to pay process. I'm talking about a simple purchasing process starting from the purchase order, goods receipt, and invoice receipt. And I recommend this to anyone regardless of the functional module you want to specialize in. So whether you'd like to become a finance consultant, material management, sales and distribution, production planning, plant maintenance, any module, you need to set a clear objective process to execute in the system. Once you set up this objective, then you will have a clear learning path to learn the configuration and the process execution SAP. Let's take the procure to pay process as an example. In order to be able to execute all the steps and get to the invoice receipt, you will have to configure everything behind this process. And the purchasing or the procure to pay process is one of the most simple processes. I'm talking about the simple variant where we only buy a trading material in good receipt, post a goods receipt and then an invoice. It's one of the easiest processes you can learn and you can execute in the system. So in order to be able to do this, you will have to configure everything that's behind. So the company code, purchasing organization, plant, storage location, any other configuration objects. And then you have to also maintain the master data, supply and master data, materials, general ledger accounts. So by the time you end this process and you post the invoice receipt, the last step, you would have learned very well how to configure the different organizational objects, how to maintain the different master data objects that are related to this process. And this will give you a clear idea on how SAP is for HANA works. Because once you are able to execute one process end to end, you will be able to understand how things are connected, how the different modules are integrated, how the finance is integrated in everything, and you will be able to use your own justification after this to learn any other process that you have not seen before. I have tried this with many SAP students throughout the years, and it is a brilliant idea. The reason I do this is because if you decide to study SAP in the traditional way, starting from the configuration and then getting up to do a process, you are going to lose your way because SAP is a huge system. It is created in order to adapt to so many industries and to medium and the huge enterprises. So if you say that you are going to discover SAP from the configuration or from the back end, so you go to the configuration menu and you start scrolling to the different nodes and going into the different screens and looking into all the fields, trying to understand what they are, you are going to lose your way and you are going to lose your mind. SAP is huge. Whenever you learn SAP and even in real life, whenever you work in SAP and real projects, SAP is always oriented by the business process. So you always have to find a business process to execute and then configure the system behind. Never try to configure things or to go and explore things without having a process. The second reason this is a brilliant idea is because it will teach you how to configure a full end-to-end -end process on your own. Remember that in SAP, most of the processes are integrated between different modules. So in order to run a process end-to-end, -end, you have to configure different modules. And if you would like to learn SAP on your own, and for example, you are not able to configure the finance part, I'm talking about the basics. So the basic account determination, the basic posting schemas and so on, you will never be able to test a process end-to-end -end on your own. And you'll always need someone else to help you set up your test cases. And this doesn't work well in real life because most of the, most of the time you have access to a sandbox or a testing system that is at your client's side, or maybe it's your own sandbox, but you are not able to find someone to help you. And then you will find no way out of this. So you need to learn on your own how to configure the basics of SAP to get any process end to end, to run end to end. And take me as an example. I'm a finance consultant, but in order to see the results of anything that happens in finance, I have to execute different processes. So if I would like to learn product costing, I need to run production planning and to run to execute production orders, confirm them, and then see the impact in finance. If every time I would like to do one of these, I have to wait for someone to help, I will never learn anything. So I have taught myself how to configure the basics in all these modules. I'm not an expert in production planning or material management or sales and distribution, but I'm able to run a process end-to-end -end and to configure the system to run a simple process end-to-end -end 
to get my test cases going and to be able to learn the part that I'm interested in. So to summarize what I said so far, choose an objective process to execute in SAP Sorhana and do not dive deep into the configuration. Only do the basics that will get the process to run until the end. I always recommend that you start with the procure to pay process. So a simple purchasing process. I have already explained on the channel the process steps and I also demonstrated how to run it end to end without configuration, but I have shown how to run all the steps. For the second process, I always recommend a standard order to cash process. So a simple sales process where you sell the material that you purchased in the first one. You buy the material in the procure to pay and then you sell the material in the order to cash until you get to the customer invoice. Now, before you start thinking that it is very hard to learn all the different modules that are integrated in the process and that it's very hard to do this on your own, remember that I'm here and this is what I'm going to do in this playlist. So now I have decided to create a new playlist that I will call something like configuration, SAP configuration from zero, where I'm going to start really from zero. I'm not going to copy anything in the configuration. I'm not going to copy any master data. We're going to start together from the creation of the company code, the configuration, controlling areas, purchase organizations, everything, until we first get to run a full procure to pay process, and then until we run a full order to cash process. If you have been following the videos on the channel, then you already know that I have a configuration document that I share with the channel members where I save step by step all the configuration activities that I always do to run any demo that you see on the channel. So I'm going to use this document as a reference and I will go through this document step by step and do a live demo on how to configure the different steps. If you want to maximize the benefit from this playlist, then you need to have access to an SAP S4HANA system that you can configure freely. So either you have a sandbox in your current company that you can use to learn, or you can buy your own access online. There are many providers. I do also provide my own SAP S4HANA server access that you can use to learn SAP. And it is the same server and the same system I am using in all my demos. So this is the system I will be using also throughout this playlist. And you can subscribe to it if you would like to. You can go to my website, www.academy.com slash SAP access, and you will find all the details. And as usual, all the videos related to this subject will be saved in the correct sequence in a playlist. And I always recommend that you follow the playlist to understand everything that I explain. Also in this playlist, there will be many member exclusive videos. Anyone will be able to see these videos in the playlist and to see the titles, but only the channel members will be able to watch them. And I will take this opportunity to thank everyone who is supporting my efforts and the channel by subscribing to the channel membership program. Thanks a lot. If you would like to support the efforts and join the channel membership, then you can check the link in the description of this video. So this video is an introduction to the new playlist. And before I end this introduction, I really encourage you to go to the comments section and let me know what you want me to include in this playlist. As I always say, whenever I start a new playlist, I'm always still constructing the approach. I'm still gathering different ideas. So if you want me to explain anything in this playlist, if you have any ideas, any recommendations, then now is the time to let me know about this. Leave me a comment and I'm going to read the comments and include them in the playlist. I'm looking forward to seeing your interaction on the different videos in this playlist. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share the video with your connections, leave me your comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Let's go.